right, so I arrived at the airport. It's an ungodly hour. It's five, a little past five in the morning. Got 282 kilometers. Let me just put that in percentage. Hang on. Uh, so energy, there we go. So that's 61 percent of my battery. I'm going to go off to the US today. Be back on Sunday, so it's Tuesday. That's about six days worth. Um, so let's see how it, uh, how the vampire drain is uh, on the car. So we start out with 61. Let's see where we end up. I think we'll be around. I don't know. I would say 50. Um, but yeah, I'm also going to go to the. Uh, let me put the lights back on. There we go. Uh, let's see. <coughs> so here, power management, energy saving on, and I'm not going to leave it connected. So that's about the max that I can do to reduce the vampire drain. And uh, yeah, let's see where we end up. Alright, so we just landed back in Belgium. Um, so let's see what the energy consumption has been for the past six days. Well, it's more like five and a half days. Um, because I was here very early uh, on Tuesday and it's now tr uh, qu quarter past three in the afternoon. Um, if I remember correctly, we left here with 282 kilometers or 61 percent range left so let's see well we've got 51 percent so that's a little under two percent per day of uh, range loss uh, bear in mind that it has been cold so maybe the battery has been heating somewhat underneath uh, and in the summer you might get a different uh, a different uh, energy consumption there but if we put that in distance again, then that's 234 kilometers. So I actually lost a little under 50 kilometers of range by being parked here all week. So yeah, being away for a month, if you, if you come here with like 80-90% on your car, being away for a month shouldn't be a problem at all. Of course if you can plug it in then plug it in and it will charge up by itself if it drops below a certain uh, range or a certain percentage and um, I think the best thing to do there uh, if you can plug it in is just set the uh, charge limit all the way down to 50% uh, and so it will go below 50% or up to 50% and uh, once you're on the plane and you're coming back uh, again, then just increase your charge in time and it will start charging. And then your battery is warm. Uh, you can preheat the car without any problem. And then, uh, yeah, that's, that's the easiest way to actually do it. But if you don't have an option to charge, like I tested now, uh, I could have parked uh, another parking space here uh, in, in Brussels uh, where they could plug my car in but this was just for a test that I want to see what the energy consumption is but anyway I don't think that uh, I'll be taking up those spots since I'll, uh, I'll have enough charge anyway and the supercharger if necessary is like 2-3 kilometers from here so that's no problem at all if you're really low on charge at that point Okay, so thanks for watching and see you guys next time.